Hello and welcome to my airspace. So I'm here in this little bit of a stone fruit orchard. There are plums and several kinds of peaches. I think nectarines. So today is January 16th and we've hardly had any rain so far this season winter season, late fall, whatever. Usually January is our rainiest month. I'm here in Riverside County, Val Vista, California, and we had 24 hours of a pretty darn good rain about 10 days ago. And then the last three days, we've had nasty heat as far as I'm concerned. It was in the 80s pretty nasty stuff. I don't like, I want winter to be winter as much as it can in Southern California. Anyway, so we got what I think is called a false spring going on here. These trees, these peach trees are totally sprouting buds and they haven't even been trimmed yet. They usually get trimmed I think in late February or late January, early February. So, unless they only do it every other year, maybe, I'm not sure, but this isn't going to make for a very great crop, I don't think. I'm going to have to do some studying on that. They're just totally flowered out, budded out. The plum trees don't seem to be doing anything. Um, but usually, I was under the impression that stone fruit trees get trimmed back pretty far. All these little branches get taken off and start over again every year. Um, really allows the plant to push its vigor into the limbs and sprout out. Anyway, it's going to be another learning experience for me as I do my research. I will say one thing. The bees are certainly happy. Listen. I wonder what that is up there. Looks like a nest, huh? Some kind of nest. Hummingbird nest, maybe? Kind of cool. All the little saplings coming out of the ground that need to be cut down. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's a beautiful day, beautiful morning. Except it's supposed to be 84 degrees today. And there's no humidity. Humidity dropped down to 9 yesterday. Oh my god, that makes me crazy. It like dries out my brain and my brain doesn't work. Anyway. Between no humidity and heat in January, we got all of the impeachment, insurrection, the Trump, the Biden, the Pelosi, the Harris, the just the general BS of politics in America as it has become via the internet and all the crazy groups out there that have little or no class. I mean, it'd be great if all the people that marched with Trump on January 2nd, if they'd all done it in nice suits and, you know, respectable clothing that somebody would wear at the White House. And I shouldn't say respectable, but just freak everybody out by wearing, by looking fine and dandy, you know? rather than crazy. Oh, these have got the green green leaves popping out all over too. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back here in a couple weeks. I usually only come over here once every six weeks or so. 
So anyway, okay, make it a wonderful day. Go out and spend some time in nature, especially at nighttime. Get far away from the city where there's no light pollution and enjoy the stars and the planets and the moon and the beauty. That's an olive tree back over there. The birds are loving it. There's still a bunch of olives on it up way up at the top. Okay. Go out there and tell someone I love you. Pick up some trash. Perform a random act of kindness. Subscribe to my channel. I love you. Bye.